Namaste and welcome to everyone. We are on exercise two, observing the self and the body by the self. And we have been working on step three, observing the interaction between the self and the body. So in exercise one, we observed the self by the self. In exercise two, we are observing, while observing the self, we are also observing the body. And in exercise two, in step one, we were observing that I am there and the body is there. And if we look into how I can see that I am there, we can see that we are able to observe some of the activities within the self. So we can see that I am there as a reality that I exist. We can also see that the body is there. On the basis of the sensations we can read from the body. So some sensations are there within the body. We can read those. And when we want some information about the outside, we can also make use of the five sense organs of the body and get information about the outside through those. In step two of exercise two, we said that this exchange of information that happens between the body and the self, this is only in the form of information. Nothing physical is being transferred from the self consciousness to the material, the body, and vice versa. So when we say that nothing physical is being transferred, there is exchange of information. In step three, when we observed this exchange of information between the self and the body, this interaction between the self and the body in a little more detail, we are seeing that I as the self give some instructions to the body and the body follows. There are many sensations in the body. I choose to read some of these sensations. And when I read these sensations, then I find out or I give meaning to what this sensation means to me. So when I read the sensation also, those sensations that are important for me, that I think are important for me, I read those. Those that don't seem important for me, I don't read those. And once the sensations are read and I have given some meaning to them, the meaning that I give may be based on my own preconditionings, or it could be based on understanding. With that meaning, then I decide what kind of instruction to give to the body. And I give that instruction in the form of information and the body follows. So this process we'll be looking at in a little more depth in the coming steps. But meanwhile, we had um, tried to observe this for ourselves, the interaction between the self and the body. And this assignment yesterday, which we spent some time doing the first part for 10 minutes, 
we tried to do this all day yesterday that every interaction that we have with the body throughout the day we try to observe who is deciding what is to be done the self or the body we had said that the self is the seer the doer the enjoyer the one that sees the one that does does meaning even though the activity may be carried out with the help of the body the decision making who is doing self or body we try to see that that it is the self that decides so is the doer and the experience of happiness or unhappiness the experience of anger hatred jealousy peace calm all these feelings they are experienced by the self so the self is the enjoyer or experiencer in all these interactions so we were trying to see in routine examples routine everyday activities which we do every single day we may not be thinking about them or giving paying attention to them but when you are walking who is the decision maker you are taking a particular dis- direction you are stopping somewhere you are continuing to walk somewhere sometimes you are walking fast sometimes you are walking slow who is deciding this in the is the the body or the self similarly when you are eating something who is deciding to eat the body or the self who is enjoying the taste of the food is it the body that is enjoying or is it the self who is deciding what to eat who is deciding when to eat is it the body is it the self first thing in the morning when you wake up it may be cold outside it may be dark maybe you don't feel like getting out of bed who doesn't feel like getting out of bed is it the body or is it the self who is deciding whether to get up now or to sleep some more is it the body or the self so in uh, i i just thought uh, i mean i i just uh, got reminded of this robot the robot mm-hmm. functions based mm-hmm. on whatever is programmed in it so i i i i just uh, equate this this body to a robot and uh, the other person who is making the program and fixing it to the self now the basic difference here is in a robot there is something which is non living which has been programmed to do a certain thing based on the conditions whatever it is now here let us say uh, 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 when we eat something the basic feeling to eat something is first felt by the body and the body uh, creates feeling a... to eat something meaning yeah when i am hungry when i am hungry who is feeling that hunger yeah so i would put it this way that there is some sensation physiochemical change is happening in the body isn't it Right. some acid secretion is there something happens there is some sensation but who is feeling the hunger who is giving that meaning that now it is time for food or you know i have to give food I have no, to but basically the hunger whatever is the physiochemical change because the body is or the, the 
stomach or whatever you call it it is made up of a living tissue or something like that it is it is providing the uh, basic signal to the cell see that's what it is providing the signal makes it look like now the signal has come to the self now the self has to respond to it yes so who is deciding in this no, no decision maker is the self there is no doubt about it right and there are also times when you don't read that sensation isn't it of hunger yeah but then the body is suppressed i mean it is suffering without the action being taken by the self who is suffering is the body suffering or the self is suffering that also you have to try to see okay see many people keep fast for extended days do yes. you mean to say their body is suffering or they are suffering the body will be suffering definitely but the body doesn't have the mechanism to express that only the self has the mechanism to express it <laughs> so see you miss a meal suppose yes hmm like that example we gave no yeah. every day at a certain time you eat the meal and right. the body by means of its own self organization in anticipation it has secretion of saliva uh, secretion of uh, stomach acid and so on at that particular time yes that sensation is there every day at those fixed times yes now you decide whether to read or not to read supposing you are busy at work the sensation also you may not read isn't it if you are very engrossed in doing something try to explore this if you are very busy doing something you really enjoy doing you might forget that it is lunch time is over or you know it's late and i didn't eat possible yeah possible but at the same time after that time is over when i'm free i'm just uh... um and uh, um, serving what the body needs that is different issue but was the body suffering that time when we forgot about the body didn't give it food were we suffering there is no hard and fast rule that every three times in a day we should have food no body will suffer if you don't have that also this is what i'm saying so if i have this see even this example we took earlier also we i think uh, this discussion we had supposing you expect that the lunch should be ready at such and such time and you should be able to eat lunch at such and such time yeah you go home the lunch is not ready hmm yes okay now who is suffering body or self now there i think uh... Well, I expected that the lunch should be ready. So, self is suffering. Ah, because your expectation was lunch should be not, ready. Not, yes, yes, I yes. should get lunch. Now I didn't get lunch. My expectation is not met. I get disturbed. Isn't it? Maybe. If, on the other hand, I come home and. say i have understanding or i i can see that the other is working or may have been busy lunch is not ready i say okay fine no problem maybe i can help you and we can make it you know faster two people rather than one person or whatever i might start to help or maybe i'll put the lay the table while you are getting the lunch ready or i can do the dishes or whatever it may be something i get busy doing now i may not get irritated even now i had the expectation that lunch will be ready so i have a choice there whether i suffer or i don't suffer that choice is there for me isn't it so there can be so many responses to that particular activity related activity related to that activity 
But in the case of the body, you will find that response is very definite. It can't change that response. It doesn't assume. Like in my case, I can assume that lunch should be ready. And if my assumption is not met and I don't have understanding, then I might get disturbed, I might get angry. Same situation, I have understanding. Now my acceptance is different. I don't suffer. Body cannot assume like this. The body has a very definite response. You give it food, it will you know, start that process of digestion. You don't give it food, there will be nothing to digest. The acid secretion will stop. And in fact, you will find sometimes it also happens that you miss the meal and little later you realize, but then you're not feeling very hungry at that time. So you say, it's okay, I will maybe eat at night. I don't need to eat right now or maybe in the evening, early dinner I'll have or some such thing. That also is possible, isn't it? So you will find... In the case of the self, you have all those choices that you are making. But in the case of the body, that recognition and fulfillment is very definite. You can try to observe this and see. Okay. Yeah? Uh, uh, one, one more small uh, clarification. Yes. The, you, the case you told that one is my expectation that I will have my lunch at this time and then I go. Mm -hmm. The second case, okay, there I have choices. I have, I don't have. If I don't have, I share and understand and mm -hmm. way which is amicable to all. Right? The second case is if I am hungry. I am. I've. I've been very tired at work and mm -hmm. very well that uh, at twelve o'clock or one o'clock the lunch will be ready, and I go home only to find out that it is not ready. Mm -hmm. There also, I mean, uh, the understanding will come depending on what the person at home has done or not done or what or, uh, his or her engagements, all those things are there. But then the hunger part is something which is created by the body. That is uh, dominating the understanding. See. It, is it is different from the previous case where where uh, I have a choice, I, I, I have a a feeling that I should take food at 1 p.m. So I take, I don't take, I, I don't bother. But the other case is not like that. Probably I would not have taken my breakfast also and I was working in the office and then I'm going home or maybe to a hotel, whatever it is, and I don't get what I desire. So there the understanding is purely based on the, uh, the activities of the body, whether it is change or so what I wanted to basically know is, is there a self existing within the parts of the body? Yeah, see, this is what understanding is based on, not on the activity within the body. Understanding is in the self. Whether I understand the body or not, that is the question. So if I understand the activities in the body, then I will not starve the body unnecessarily. Why? Unless there is some higher purpose involved or something, I will not do that. Yes, yes. Why will I do it? Because I understand that, you know, the body is there and I have taken responsibility for this body. So I nurture the body. I nourish it. I don't, you know, destroy it. If you take the example of, say, smoking. Okay. Right? Now, we all know smoking is harmful for the body, isn't it? Very, very, very. As doctors, do you think no doctor smokes? No, oh, many, many smoke. Many smoke. Now here, what is happening? There is some impact on the body, isn't it? Yes. Body is going along with it, even though the self decided to do harm to the body. Yes, yes. Isn't it? So you'll see in many such cases, in fact, in all the addictions, you will find there are changes in the body, definitely. The body is not nurtured, that is for sure. But if the self doesn't understand all this, or the self 
is trying to get happiness through the sense organs of the body they may take the decision to continue with the addiction even though they may be able to see that this is harming the body so the self kind of overrules or takes the decision to do something and the body goes along even though the body is being harmed it doesn't have the choice can you see that okay yes okay ma'am thank you ji i was very uh, selective about the food and in a wrong way actually mm-hmm. but when we had a baby my old habits were not there so nothing is visible in sense uh, i have improved <laughs> <laughs> but the kid used to actually suppose there is some black spot in certain food some form or it so she won't eat or mm. at least will say no i don't like this i will like this no this kind of things are how they are formed before the experiences so what yeah. goes what goes with the self and what uh, is regained what mm-hmm. it depends upon i mean what is strong or what is most pressing thing in you depends on that and where this mundane learning like this is a basic uh, essential learning for life right mm-hmm. that this sensation means this this why it doesn't stay with yeah, uh, yeah. see um if you look at the activities in the self there are many activities in the self na yes starting from the lowest activity selecting tasting then thought analysis yes logic then going to the feeling and so on and then the higher activities understanding realization all of those now in all these cases or in most cases how i would put it is that see the lower activities that are there which are about mm. selecting tasting and so on mm. even though those tastes are you know temporary yeah. but if i have a strong association of happiness with, with that mm. my feeling is involved a lot in mm. that like i am invested in that happiness a lot yes and that may linger mm. mm-hmm. in general um once you are at contemplation and above those higher mm. activities what we call the b1 block mm. there whatever progress you make it stays it doesn't reverse back mm. but if you look at the lower activities lot of change is possible yeah and you yeah. may not recall any of it you may have to learn fresh everything mm. so that's why you have to read abc and so on but you will yeah. also notice that there are what we call child prodigies yes true yeah so there are children who can recite so many things backwards and all these texts and all that at a very yeah. tender age without having learnt in this lifetime yeah true so what you are very passionate about i would say it like this that is how i would understand it that those things might stay with you mm. even now we can see if we are very passionate about something we remember that true true what true. we are not so passionate about we don't recall so true. what i ate 10 years back i don't recall but 10 years back it was a very special birthday somebody came some special yeah. food was made my feelings were involved in that i might remember it also i might remember what i ate also i might remember what i was wearing also yeah 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 so yes. what i pay attention to depends on whatever what i think is important for me important yes yeah so based and on whatever that, is mm. yeah okay 
and uh, didi uh, this feeding attaching the feeling to different sensations mm -hmm. this process can you i mean from the childhood mm. i mean when we are growing up yeah this process happens so in some sense this natural acceptance or so we are actually two things are happening one is sensations are happening that is from the birth i mean uh, already we can when the body takes form the sensations are there because there are certain rules of the body hmm. in some sense it's you can look at as a body as a very advanced machine in some mm -hmm. sense but um, like um, the preconditioning part of it or mm. the attaching meaning part of it mm. that is part of our learning right like as we experience yes now this process um, so this process can happen i mean uh, if it happens as per natural acceptance from the very beginning for example i mean what natural acceptance means at that stage or um, and when we evolve sometimes it becomes a part of preconditioning we say that you know i have attached this kind of meaning to this and then i got, want to uh, like certain sensations we uh, feel as uh, favorable or sukhad hai certain sensations are painful and this pain and uh, joy are our i mean to understand what is there what is happening that is sometimes there as a understanding of what actually happening inside but we associated certain pain and joy to certain sensations then in certain conditions we try to repeat those experiences mm. when we want joy and then the habits form yeah or sometimes we do unknowingly but i mean what wh what is learning and what is this preconditioning i mean there is a subtle line in between that and doing things with natural acceptance so um, yeah yeah see so, when you look at natural acceptance hmm. natural acceptance although it is there in each one of us yeah we have to refer to it we have to become aware of it yes so if we don't refer to it it is at the point of the highest activity isn't yes. it so if you refer to that you get a clear answer there also if you are trying to refer to it for selecting tasting or for thoughts you will not be able to get a clear answer unless you look at the purpose yes isn't it so for example i like tasty food hmm Mm. i like say fried um what Chips. is it? puri mm. sabji and something yeah yeah mm? absolutely mm. okay now i like the taste so i keep wanting to have more yes frequently whatever it is but after i eat this food i fall asleep yes i am not yes. able to stay awake now if i ask myself what is the purpose of this food that i am eating mm. isn't it yes is it to nurture the body or is it to harm the body is it to give me you know that energy to go on or is it to make me dull and lack energy mm. so now um, when i look at it like this i see what's the point of eating something to so that i can you know function well yeah. and at the same time i'm falling asleep i can't do any work with this so i change my diet i make that mm. choice but i have to be able to ask that question i have to go beyond my likes and dislikes to purpose ha ah, to purpose and, and you'll that... find that if you if you are looking at the feeling and upwards mm. at least if you are at the level of feeling mm. you can get a very clear answer from 
natural acceptance. There is only two possibilities, either this, either that. A feeling can be either naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable. Mm. But in the lower activities below the feeling, unless you ask that question about the purpose, unless you refer to the natural acceptance, even for the feeling, unless you refer to the natural acceptance, you may go with whatever is going outside, isn't it? Yes. Somebody cheats me, I get angry. And you think, of course, I should get angry. Because this mm. person did this. And I have anger against that person. Now I dislike that person. Mm. And so many things. But if I refer to my natural acceptance, yeah. then the situation changes. Correct. And, okay. This was one yeah. thing about natural yeah. acceptance. The other Correct. thing you asked about the preconditioning and learning. Yes. If you see learning also, I wouldn't call learning the same as understanding, isn't it? Learning is something you are doing with your lower activities. Yes. Say some information. So to the highest, are, yeah. To you, the highest potential, it is like uh, bringing the understanding into action. Right? I mean, so... What is that? Bringing your understanding into action in different mm -hmm. situations. Ah, so you will act accordingly, meaning you yes. will give the instructions to the body accordingly. You will behave yes. accordingly. That's what we say, yes. na? Yes. So behavior yes. and work. Correct. Correct. So yes. if I don't have understanding, I may behave a certain way. Correct. But if I have understanding, I may behave a different way because now I understand everything in the existence i might you know i can understand the relationship with other human beings i can understand my interconnectedness with nature so now i will behave differently yes but when it comes to learning learning it could be a lot of information mm. but for understanding you have to go beyond that. Mm. You have to get access to the higher activities within the self. And it's all there in the self. Mm. Preconditioning is something that you can say I have assumed to be true without really knowing for myself. Mm. So, for instance, somebody says something and I believe it. I haven't tried it out. I haven't really verified it for myself. Mm. But I have assumed it to be true and I start behaving accordingly. The assumptions and preconditions are making a little confusion to take the decision. Is it so, Didi? <laughs> the thing is, you know, as long as we don't refer to the natural acceptance, the preconditionings will be motivating our feelings. Isn't it? Yes. Our desires. And that will then lead to thoughts in that direction, behavior in that direction. So ultimately, if we want to go by you know, if we want to really be happy in continuity, we have to go with something that is not changing like this. Like assumptions keep changing, isn't it? Yes. One day I experience something, I have some assumption. Next day I have a different experience, I change my assumption and so on. So if I want something which is there in continuity. If I want to have that happiness in continuity, the right feeling in continuity, then I have to have a base of something that is not changing every day. For that, you have to refer to the natural acceptance. That's where you will find there is, it is unchanging. It is universal. So I have to keep referring to that. In the beginning, it may take a lot of effort, but eventually it will become effortless.
Yes, that's this. Uh, ultimately, that's we have to refer to the natural acceptance that will lead to the single decision. Yeah. Then it becomes very clear. Yes. Yes. And thank you. just I just wanted to also mention many preconditionings may be right preconditionings also. Not necessary that all preconditionings are bad. But what is right for me? How will I verify? Again, you have to refer to the natural acceptance. Yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Diti. Ji. Okay, now we don't have much time left. For a few minutes, we can try to observe for ourselves right now. That exercise that we did, you know, you're sitting in one place, not moving. And you see the interaction, what is happening. You can do that again. Or you can also look at the sensations in the body that are going on. The activities that are going on, you may not be able to see. But some sensations are there in the body. See, you know, while you were talking, or you were listening, were you able to observe those sensations? And now when you are paying attention for 10 minutes, are you able to observe the sensations? Not only not 10 minutes, we just have few minutes. So maybe two minutes, you can just close your eyes and try to observe the sensation in a particular part of the body. Say the left toe, just as an example. So for two minutes, take, um, you know, pay attention to your left toe and try to observe the sensation there. Okay, we are almost out of time. But very briefly, we may have been able to explore or notice some sensation. Now, if you recall, while you were talking, while you were discussing things, you may not have been able to notice that sensation in that part of the body. Uh, this we can try to observe today, that whatever sensations we are having in the body, the body has many sensations. But we are paying attention to only some sensations, whatever we think are important. So we'll try to work on this today.